first of all, thank you all for, for coming to Bojo, all the way from the Sutu, Martin from KZN, and you guys from just down the road. <laughs> um, I wanted to have this discussion because I think, uh, you know, f from a 32 GR brand point of view, we've been working with running. We started in the running space. We actually started in the running space. We launched our brand actually at Comrades Marathon. So that race has got a special place in our hearts. Mm. Um, every product that we've developed has actually been around Comrades Marathon runners. And personally, I've worked with some of you for over a decade, <laughs> actually, for a very long time. Yeah. I've, seen, I've seen the progress with the runners over time. And I just thought it would be nice to have just a casual conversation, talking comrades, talking running, talking training, talking nutrition. Um, it's always nice to get different perspectives on it. And... You know, I just thought it would be a very nice conversation to have a mixed group of people in here. So I just I want to make short introductions, but maybe you guys can also talk a little bit of yourself. Wendy, I've known Wendy for I think seventeen years, and a lot of people know that we met in a gym at a indoor duathlon, and then we and then we raced a, a indoor triathlon together, and then we landed up actually um, we both went on the endurance journey. Uh, Wendy focused on running, I'm me more multi sport, and uh, we actually even landed up. Uh, discovering our own run route on a Wednesday, which is called Mawa Wednesday, and uh, and training together. And I mean, personally, uh, Wendy's been inspirational because to see where he came from to where he is now, running a 557 at Comrades this year at age 47, absolutely incredible. I mean, it's a, a Wally Hayward is not something to, to take lightly. It's a lifetime achievement as far as I'm concerned, I think for yeah. any means, uh, by any means, and especially at that age, you know, to be to be running faster at that age is actually quite incredible. Uh, Renea, I mean, we go back to the Nedbank days, and obviously now then KPMG, and then Murray and Roberts, and and I've known Renea for a long time. And he's not just a runner; he actually does do multi sports as well. Yes. Uh, his wife's a multi sporter, um, and also, you know, by the way, and I've got to mention parents as well, both of them, Wendy and Renea, with kids and you know working full time. I think it's also it's it's quite amazing. This year you ran five four fifty, five fifty at Comrades, right. and uh, and you would think that at five fifty you're in line for a gold medal, but it was a very fast race this year. Um, but Renier will talk from his own experience. Uh, Vuvu, I, I don't know very very well, but uh, Vuvu's done quite a few Comrades. But she's going to also give an, an her experiences on on running Comrades with the normal people, you know, <laughs> yeah. how normal people run Comrades, and, and 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 not just at the front of the. Of the pack, Tobojo Celo um, probably doesn't need many introductions, but Tobojo I've known for also many many years, and he's always been at the front. Mm. You know, one of the big race horses, and this year, Comrades Gold Medal, running under five and a half hours, five twenty-four, Tobojo, yeah, which is which is incredible. I mean, to run, uh, and <coughs> it was a seventh place, so you got to understand how fast the race was, running seventh mm. position. Mm. Um, but a, but amazing, and I've, I've seen Tobojo trains in the mountains in Lesotho. So you must know altitude training and hard training. These guys are not afraid of of uh, of putting in the effort. And then um, as far as uh, Mr. Martin and Gwenya goes, Martin and I go back to sure first comrades I ever seconded. Martin was there en route, helping and supporting and guiding us because I didn't really know what I was doing. As seconding for the first time, I actually tell people it's far harder to second comrades than it oh. is to run it. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> people don't believe yeah. it. It is so difficult. Yeah. Um, and most years, um, you know, while while the runners are actually still sleeping, we are actually up, already doing work. I mean, I'll never forget when we, when we launched our brand. Actually, we launched it on the back of uh, seconding um, 32 GR users on course. Uh, we offered. Uh, people free seconding en route at Comrades. Our, our, our theme at that stage was from Peter Maritzburg to Durban on five liters of fuel, <laughs> which was, uh, you know, minimalistic fueling over the Comrades route by providing five water tables. Mm. Little did I know what I was getting into. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and, and to be, it was very hard. We, st we stood at Expo for three days. We shut down Expo and then we had over 200 runners that took us up on that offer. So that night after Expo, we had to fill up over a thousand bottles Mm. of 32 GR and then I had to wake up at you I went to sleep, sleep at 11 p.m. <laughs> oh. I woke up at midnight yeah. uh, Craig Fry actually organized us volunteers in Peter Maritzburg injured runners that weren't running that knew yeah. the course and would help with the seconding I went wow. to fetch them 
and we dropped them on route. And I never forget, we, I dropped my partner Dean and his, uh, with his wife there. We dropped them in Camperdown. And uh, I went to drop the others at Nchanga and Burtas Hill. And then I drove all the way back to Ashburton. And there we stood in the freezing cold that morning. Didn't even realize how cold it got actually yeah. that, that yeah. year. Mm. But that goes back like, like over a decade. And, you know, since then, yeah. I think for all of us, you know, South Africa is, I think it's predominantly from a sports perspective, it's definitely a running country without a doubt. But it's definitely an ultra running country. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Comrades has become synonymous um, with runners uh, across the globe. And to be quite honest, I was told once that unless you do comrades, you're not a runner. Because <laughs> 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 you have to do it once. And I was like, listen, listen, <laughs> friend. If Yo. You tell me I'm not a runner, but unless you run a sub three hour marathon, you're not a runner either. <laughs> <laughs> Try and hit them back a little bit, you know? So, so anyway, I just, first of all, appreciate you guys being here. And, yeah, um, yeah, maybe I'll just start with each of you and we can just get into a casual conversation. But Wendy, age 47, running a 557, I mean, (laughs) unbelievable run. Yeah. Uh, Fastest comrades, for sure. And you took, what, 25 minutes off your previous time? Correct, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. 25 minutes off your previous time. So from age 46 to 47, you got 25 minutes fast on comrades' route. And and, and I mean, interesting enough, from that um, 620, I did 623 last year, uh, 27 minutes. And the Saturday before, um, in fact, Friday before, I was with Renee ripping up our, our race, um, and numbers uh, from the club, and Renee was saying, "Okay, one day, listen. In theory, uh, the route is two k's shorter, right? Um, so, which means that ten minutes of your time. So, at least minimum six fifteen. You know. So, so, so my plan for the day literally was between six ten, in fact, sub six, or six ten. You know, because I was so worried to get it six o one and and six hours couple." Of couple of seconds but but everything worked well on the day you know and and it's about i, I think for me what worked most is about planning you know i was also nervous before comrades i was i mean i i sent i sat down and i look at my fueling plan for the day like probably around 22nd or a week before of may and i jotted down exactly what i would be taking during the route and um at what points as well. And I took a screenshot and I sent that to Mark. And like, Please have a look <laughs> yeah, at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> does, no, no. Does, does, Am I going to make it? Does it make sense? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Because, because, you know... Start uh, doubting yourself. Exactly, yeah. you know. Um, but, I wasn't even thinking about sub six. I was yeah. looking at a fueling for like six and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. That, that was a plan. Yes. You know, like, okay, fine, six and a half and, and look at that. And, and yeah, I mean... You know, I always say that, I mean, everyone who started conference, they want to finish, you know, and, and finishing that and getting the medal that you want is, is really, really a bonus and a great achievement. And, and it's only now that I'm realizing, I think for the past week that I'm realizing, actually, I did well. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 amazing. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's true. Tabojo, I mean, you got a gold medal this year. It's not your first time running up there in the front. So, I mean, what's your experience been with comrades over the years and um, how did you find the race this year? Hey, it was tough because uh, I was suffering from the flu. Sure. Yeah, two weeks before the race and in that two weeks I do nothing. So it was tough for my side. But according to the plan um, from, the, from the team, from my training camp, we are planning to win the Comrades this year. Wow. So it has been long that uh, Mr. Price uh, doesn't have the winning as number one in the finish line. So we try all the best that we can do it. And then we, uh, according to the drawing board for the Comrades, what the uh, experience is, is that we have to uh, do the drawing board right now. This is the month for the comrades that we are supposed to put the drawing board for the next uh, comrades. If you are going on the December six months, uh, you are late. It's interesting you say that because I tell a lot of uh, ultra runners that 
comrades training actually does start like a year before comrades the planning mm. starts and yeah. the base building yeah. mm. i mean so, so that's yeah. that's quite an important you have to put down and put the drawing and then look at the everything that you are going to need along the preparation training until the success that is going to be happening in the last day uh, according to my experience uh, I can split it like uh, the wet spot. As, as for the start, as is a self confidence that you have to be built up. So it will take some months that you have to build that uh, self confidence on yourself. Secondly, it will be having P. The P it stands for preparation. Look how are you going to prepare yourself for. Comrades, and then put the time that you are going to run on the Comrades Day. Everything, put them there. Then O is an organization. Who's going to organize all those things that you need to be organized? It must be someone standing there. Mm -hmm. R is a responsibility. That is where you appear as an athlete. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, T is the training. You are going to train. Everything is sorted. So at the end of the race, you just get that S for the last one success. Wow. So that is what I experienced for the comrades. If you are going for jumping, either go straight to training, jumping, all these things, uh, wow. Wow. you can't do it. That's, that's, wow. that's, why, that's why it's running for Mr. Price. So that one, <laughs> <laughs> that one I that's know. That's what's <laughs> I even told my, my training partners and the, the ones that I used to coach them that... The running is not like a, you are going to run and then come back. So have a lot of things mm. to do before run. Yes, yeah. Even after running to recover, it's a long journey about the recovery. You'll need some supplements, you need for some uh, resting times and the sleeping time. If you are focused with those things all, it's more easier on you to run. And even though you can be old, I'm not surprised to see 81 years men there in Comrades mm. finishing oh, and breaking yes. the record for the old. Wow. Mm. Because that was amazing. if you, mm. if you are yeah. still mm. keeping that, mm. there is no race that is going to be difficult for you. So how did, uh, just as a matter of interest, the race itself, how did, how did that work out for you? How did it pan out? You mentioned earlier to me that uh, Bonga Musa drove a little bit hard in the beginning um, and that, that pulled the pack away and you guys stayed at the back and then so what was your tactics on the day i can say it's only the flu that confused me if there is no flu on me in my body i think uh, uh if in the, those winners they were supposed to have the tough challenge this year really yeah. because according to my split if we can go back to um, from January, I ran, I ran in, in the first, in January, I ran uh, 60K, my first uh, long, longest run. So if you can look at the split for there, you will see that I was ready for Comrades this year. And then came back to some half marathons that I ran before. If in, in two oceans, you will see. Those who knows me very well, they, if you can go and look at the video for two oceans and look at me, how I came and how I dropped, you will see that this man, is, there's something in front that he's hunting for. Mm. So I think it's, it's only that sickness that uh, uh, challenged me. Because from the start, it was very cold. Mm -hmm. So I was coughing all the way. It was hard for me. Yeah, I couldn't even think that. Then was even the my skin sure. was very painful. Even the jacket, when touching me or someone touching me, mm -hmm. it was painful. Sure. So until I get uh, 50K, the 50K market is where I, I, I feel that I can run now because I, I feel warm. So it was too late. Wow. So that's amazing, though, that yeah. you came back not feeling well to, <laughs> to sure. performing yeah. and yeah. Yeah. to taking sure. gold medal. It's incredible. How old are you now, Tabopo? 44 years old now. Sure. Wow. Okay, so 44 year yeah. old running a 524. You've got something yeah. to live yeah. for. Yeah. Are you going to be back next year for the challenge? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you prefer <laughs> up run or down run? Actually, up run is more easier than down run for my side. Oh. Okay. So, 
the yes. the up run, I know most of the guys that are going to walk in pull short then. I don't stress myself. Just run. So in down run, <laughs> uh, there's some big challenges because most of them, they fly and then they get tired towards the finish. Mm. Mm. But they are going already. Yeah. yeah. So the gap is big. Yeah, they are going already. They are already, already yeah. Even though they are getting so tired, I try to they adopt, I try yeah. to adopt that uh, training mm. to be more faster. Then I increase my speed on, on the training. And it works for me because I, if I... I'm not mistaken, I get uh, three gold for down run. Mm. Mm. So, the same position, seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the same position. you're lucky number seven. <laughs> yeah. And what so, you're placing on the up? Five positions. Five. Five, oh, yeah. Wow. Hmm. And that five, I get it in the pull shot. Yeah. Before, when I'm passing in the little poly, I was positioned something like uh, 15, 17, something <gasps> like that. Mm. Mm. But on top of pull short, I was Push, almost pull. a position, a position seven, seven eight. Yeah, yeah that's wow. the before you go straight to the stadium. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, pass yeah. some bumzingi there, most of the guys there. They, I don't think people realize <laughs> how much longer it is after the top of pull yeah. short. It yeah. 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 It's still not easy. No. But, but, but I mean, like from little polys, you run 15. Mm. Which is like, by the time you've, from there to the finish, it's like, what, 8Ks? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then you move to fifth position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the, so pro the problem for those people wow. that, that year, they were going uh, close each other. They were ah. not far. Sure. Mm -hmm. It was not yeah. a yes, two yes, gap yes, between yes. them. So okay. when I pass, I'm not passing one. I think, ah. I think the, yeah. the peg was worried about the pretty short. So they yes. stayed together to help so each and, other. And then most the of the them, police, they were not there, they were there holding themselves to Muzingi. Yeah. Because ah. Nzingi was the defending champion that year. Oh, yes. So they were there holding themselves to him. Mm. So when I'm coming, most of, of other guys, they are try to move when they saw it's me who's coming. So it was late for them already because if I can see you maybe about uh, 500 meters when I'm, I'm ready, I, <laughs> I actually I, remember one year where Stephen Mzingi and Fani Machipa were racing. And they mm. still had the hot spots. Remember, they had the prizes yes. of the hot yes. spots. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Farney went for the hot spot. He went into an all-out sprint to yeah. take the hot spot in front of Stephen Mazingi. Yes. And it broke his race because yes. Stephen, yes. Stephen yes. came back. When Farney carried on running, Stephen came back and he just he just completely passed him over the top of uh, Polly and, and back to the stadium. And mm. the race was lost on a hot spot in actual fact. I yeah. thought Farney yeah. was going to take it, but mm. that yes. sprint hurt him. Oh. Yes. I think it's the same thing with uh, with this guy, um, Rufus Voto. Yes. Remember the yes. Yes. Yeah, he was already with Mozingi and Bong Musa, mm. three of them, and he ran ran fast to pass that the, 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 the hot spot. Hot spot. The yeah, the coach, Cowies. Cowies, yes. Yeah. The Cowies. Mm. And that's what he messed up the race because I thought at that day he would, could have got push in three. At least. At least, yeah. yeah. If he ended yeah. up six or six seven, seven yeah. Oh. The top was oh, right. that, uh, yeah, if it made in motion, motion there, I did the same. For the hotspot for 50K, then I tried to push my booty and then I get the hotspot. And then after that, my booty came in from the bag and passed me. If my booty was taking the lead, I was no response. Wow. I think you've got it. Because to split it, to, to be yeah. fast on the, on the race, to put the fat leg to be on the mm. hotspot. Yeah. If you want to have a good uh, prize in the at the end, you don't you don't have to do it. Mm. Mm. If, if you are going yeah, for I the one spot, you have to go. Uh, Most didn't stress about the them. cruise yes. of the pace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. not to be. Yeah. Otherwise, you spike yourself and then yeah. you use up a lot of yeah. energy. Yeah. Yes. 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 You've only got a box of so many matches. Yeah, once yeah. they burn, they burn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to decide what's your yeah. goal. Is it the is it the finish line tape or is it the hot spot? Yeah, for sure. But I think it's also very interesting as well too, because we. We know that you go fast too soon, you're gonna bend down. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's interesting to hear that from, from, yeah. from an elite guy who, who's yes. one who has experienced that. Yes. Like, mm. who, who's saying, I've gone for a whole sport, yeah. and other than I couldn't respond. Yes, yeah. <laughs> for sure. You know? yeah. Because we think, ah, oh, no, man. Those guys that don't feel any pain, they just go. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 It doesn't work like that. So let me ask you, Renee, how was, how was, I mean, you've, you've also experienced comrades for so many years. I actually remember prior to COVID, you and Chris Cherry, I was sitting in the vehicle with you when we were going to the start. Yes. And I've actually got a video of the two of you <laughs> analyzing every single kilometer, percentage elevation of every single segment of Comrade's route on the uprun. 
and discussing it. So, I mean, you went down to such technical detail on the day, the two of you. I know that was that was actually a bit of a rough day for you. I remember yeah. that mm. you you were battling, I think, with nausea or yeah. cramping at one stage. Yes, and weren't feeling great. So I remember we were give, we were trying to give you salt to try and get the fluid out. Yes, but um, but you've had a lot of experiences of comrades as well. You, I think you you quite enjoy the down run. It seems. Yes, <laughs> and uh, I mean, this is this your second sub six hour that you've done? Is Se- second sub six hour. So I've, so this was my tenth comrades. I've done eight silvers and two wally with medals now. <laughs> So I've always been like 606, 610, oh, wow. I've did a 549 on the down and now a 550. So look, obviously the dream is always to run a gold. But that's a question I actually like to ask to Tebo. Um, you know, you Oaks that, you know, I always like um, Mark now rightfully said, we planned it and we're quite analytical. And I think we actually are too analytical we'll about analyze, it yeah. and want to analyze it too much. And sometimes you must just go and run. Mm. Mm. So and you've done the training, just go and run. So what I want to ask you is, do you plan your race at a specific pace or do you run with the bunch? Because there's a, for me, I think, you know, there's a, on the day, there's 10 oaks that can win the race and there's 50 oaks that can run top 10. It's just at the end of the day who lasts and whose minds are the strongest. Yeah. But how do you, do you run a time or do you decide from the start, I'm going to run with the pack today, no matter what happens. And if the pack runs four minutes, okay, they're in front, I'm, I run there. If they accelerate to 330k, I accelerate to 330k. Is that how, is that your race plan? Yeah, that, that's always an interesting, you know, fact that I wanted to know from, yeah. a, from a gold medalist. Is that how they run or do you plan your own thing? My side is difficult to, uh, from other athletes. Mm. Actually, I would like to say to you, you have to plan it according to your body. Okay. Because our okay. body are not the same. Yes. Mm. Uh, like I'm saying, you have to prepare now the time that you, are, you want to run in comrades. Yes. Then okay. when you are training, you're training for that time. Yeah. And how are you going to run that time? Yes. Mm. Sometimes okay. you, 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 when on the training, it is where you test yourself. You can see, you can say, no, I want to run this time, but I'm coming from the back. Yes. I want to run this okay. time when I'm still at the front. Okay. So I, I want to be in the okay. split from the start. Okay. Yes. So you have to be ready for those uh, two things. Yes. Okay. And then you will see where you feel comfort yes. with. And then look at the weather as well. Yeah. Because it's, it's very important. If the weather it will be on your side, know that everything is going to be easier for you. Yes. Mm. So that is why you have to change so many places for training. Okay. Yes. Okay. Go there and there and there to climatize different uh, uh, places, different altitude. A different course because on the uh, race day you, you will be sometimes having a problem uh, because of the terrain that you run on mm. Mm. you can twist you can do anything because you you used to run on the smooth place all the time yes and then your mind like the body adopting if in the wrong thing the body it will adopt yes you know after some certain step i will be having a heel even though you can just uh, close your eyes and then go you know the Okay, the door is there. It's like that. Yeah. Even when the training is like that. Yes. So, on your question, I'm saying, for my side, I put the, the time that I want to run. Then I put late with the five minutes and the advance in five minutes. Okay. 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 You okay. see? Oh, okay. So, okay. I know exactly the race won by this time. Mm. If these people, they are going to run go more faster, yeah. more yeah. faster yeah. than yeah. five minutes, yeah. that means they are in front of me. Yeah. But those yeah. who, those That's who it, are going stick to... with your pace. Yeah, you don't go with my, yeah, yeah, I stick with my pace. Okay. Okay. So you have a plan. Yeah. 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 So it was your target running 5.24. Yes, I commend you. That's unbelievable. <laughs> and in other years, you would have won the race. Mm. Oh, Even, yes, yes. Mm. by the way, they said two kilometers further or shorter. Sure. I got 1K. Shorter, so 88.2. Exactly. I don't know, a lot of people at 88.2, I, I think I, you as well. It, it will fall, yeah. So say, count three minutes 30, you would have won the race any day with a 527.30, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So you're unfortunate it was such a fast race, but was your target time about 525 or rather 530? No, in Comrade in com- in com- for this year, yeah. actually I was, I was planning for the record. Okay. Sure. So you were but targeting uh, 518. Yeah, but I didn't say I didn't say it to anyone. Uh, but... Okay. On my training camp, yes. under training camp and toss, 
they know exactly that we are training for the record. Okay, okay. okay. But look, being that so is what, that is what, that is what I, I think. I, I think most of these elite yeah. guys, when they train, they train for for yeah. the record. Oh, yeah. It's yes. all about it's all about thinking record, ahead yeah. rather than yeah. saying I'll, I'll run yes. 25. Yes. Because you know, yes. if you're not going to run 25 on that day, what if the race is fast? You're yes. going to stick with the guys. And then obviously, like you mentioned, I think you know the up run. You can come from the back and run through the field, but mm. the down run is more difficult. And I think the down run also to win the race. Look, you need to be fast. Yes. Yes. You need yes. to have a fast marathon yes. time. Yeah. I think yeah. these days you need to run like a 2.14, 2.12 marathon yeah. at least okay. to win the race. Mm. So you know, for the, com- for the yeah. comrades, it's not that bad. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For the comrades, if you know you run the marathon with three hours, you can win comrades. Okay. It's, the most mm-hmm. it's how you prepare, how you, uh, your body will respond. Mm. Be constant pace. Yes. To keep that tempo at a long yeah, time. Keep it. Yeah. And if you do yeah. your long no runs... Matter, no matter you feel the pain, keep it yeah. there. Yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah. because on the comrades, unless you are using something. Yes. If you are not using something, yes. you are training. Everything you are using is the, the ones that they are allowed in the sport. Mm. Yes. You will feel the pain whether yeah. you like are it. in front or you are in front. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure you are. Whether you like it or not, yeah. you're going whether to feel like pain. Or not. Because, yeah. because in the comrades... Like, uh, yeah. like I'm saying, even though you, you, are, you, you can run, like now I can say, go and run uh, 100 meters. Yeah. First, the 10 meters, and we split our time, your time about uh, 10 meters, 10, 10, 10 meters. You can't run the same time. Yes. If, yeah, in the sure. step, if in the step, if in the step, if in the stress, the strides, yeah. they are not the same. Mm. Mm. So, so the body for yourself is uh, like that. There is nothing we can do. Mm. But if you are running the same yeah. step, Knowing that we, you, are, you are relaxing. If you are not mm. relaxing, you can't run the same steps. Oh, yeah. mm. That's a good one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. So you have to know oh. where, does, where to push, does, where to be slow. Yes. What, what is your fastest marathon time, Tabucho? 214. 214. 214. 214. And, and you're in there? 224. Okay. But there's been winners that have run 214. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. And I know it's like, um, you know, like Gif Kale is a good example. I don't it's think he's, he's broken 230 on a marathon. Yeah, Oh, wow. And I've, I've spoken to John Hamlet also, he yeah. said, speed is not the thing. Not the I think thing. it's like you rightfully yeah. said, yeah, yeah. to keep, mm. to keep oh, wow. that tempo at a long distance. Mm. Mm. And I think that you, that you do through tempo runs and mm. also your long runs. Mm. 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 To even, even, I think two. even Fusin Club was also... I, I think somebody that thinking. comes in with, yeah. a, with a background of speed is definitely at an advantage. If they've got the speed endurance yes. over yes. the okay. distance. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I think that, I, I, actually we were talking about it earlier, but anyway, Kerry, tell us about your... Look, yeah, so let me tell about my experience. So, look, um, I said earlier on I didn't do the mileage I wanted to do, oh, and yeah. I had a bit of a pre-season uh, oblique day, so I think I would have got to a bit more mileage, and I think, I actually, my plan was to run between 5.40 and 5.45, and I thought to myself, the 10th gold last year was 5.47, so if you take four minutes down and I can run a f- 5.43, I would oh. be like maybe ninth, tenth, you know? Okay. And, uh, but I was seven or minutes off the pace running a 5.50. And I think if I've done a bit more mileage, I would have been able to maybe achieve that. Mm-hmm. But my race went well. I went for halfway in 2.52 and then I ran the second half in 2.57. Wow. I would have wanted to, you know, keep the pace and ran the second half 2.52. Then I would have been about five minutes off my 5.40. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, like you guys said rightfully, I was cheeked from 15 k's <laughs> to go. We started to get hard for me. <laughs> and um, like the boss has said, it's, it's, you know, we all feel the same pain. But I think I just, overall, like, my, uh, like Mark also said, my matches were burnt. And I couldn't keep the pace I wanted to. I think my pace was around 350, 355 all the way. And I started running like 430, 440k. Mm. On the downhills, I could still manage 350s. But on the mm. uphills, I think my last uphill, I ran like a 515. So that took a bit wow. of time down. But happy I managed to run a 550 and get, again and got another special while I with medal. Yeah. Like one day. Yeah. Yeah. You, you were only checked by one person though. Yes, <laughs> sure. only one person. Yeah. Yeah. But also then I need to commend one day as well. You yeah. know, running at 557, it's unbelievable. Yeah, look, look. I mean, I've, I'm really, really grateful to God. I mean, it's one of those, those times when I look at it, I'm like, even now, I mean, like you said, we had a chat the previous day on a Friday. Yeah. And, and, and my last year's Average uh, minute K was four minute eighteen seconds. Yes. Last year, 
and and never ever imagine that I'll run two sub three marathons at Comrades. You ran four oh four average this year. Yeah, yeah, four 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 it's four three. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was four oh three. I passed halfway, like we spoke on Friday. Yeah. I passed halfway at two fifty eight. Now two fifty eight pushing for a sub for a sub six. It's very thin line. You're going to have yeah. to run because the same yeah. split because or you've got two minutes to lose. Exactly. Yeah. It means that I need to, need to run about three minutes, uh, three, three hours for, for, for the second half yes. Yes. to get to, to, to 5.58. Yes. You know? And, and that, that two minutes is very, very minimal considering the fact that I mean, you've already ran mm. 40, mm. 44 mm. Ks mm. and you go yeah. for another 44 Ks, yeah. yeah. you know? Yeah. And so I passed halfway at five, um, 2.58 uh, I put 30 seconds, and then I finished at about 5.57, 23 seconds. Um, the difference between the two actually was 23 seconds overall. That's unbelievable. And in that's in actually spreading your energy evenly throughout you know, the league. Exactly, because, I mean, uh, so I, I slowed down in the second half by about 23 seconds overall. That's uh, amazing one. I, and not a lot of people <laughs> can get that right, actually. And, and in that 403, uh, Cowies, uh, I've got 5.22. It's amazing. Five twenty two car carries, I was like, okay. I mean I look at my watch, um, and I just kept going, got to the top, and the kilometer clicked, it says five twenty two. I said, like, okay, now silver may uh while have it, there are two things. It's gonna be six oh something something. So two and I, I don't think I'm ready for that. Yeah. And and yeah, I just kept we're gonna I mean, run like, a sub six yes, today and, and we're and doing exactly. it. Exactly. And like you were saying, I mean, we we spoke about this saying, listen, if you want a PB it's not going to come nice. <laughs> yeah. I remember if, telling you that. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to run a PB, you got, yeah. you know, you're not going to walk into a PB. It's not waiting mm. for you. You're going to, you have to yeah. work it's for hard. it. It's hard. It's hard. It's mm. hard. I mean, uh, th there's one point. Cowies, I see, I think we know about cowies, but there's just one sport going down from Westfield mm. and then from Mayville to the engine garage yes. at the top. The top gate. Oh, that's oh, that's yeah, that's yeah. why it's killing I, people. I got there and I, <laughs> I look at my speed, 4.30. And, and, and in hindsight, even now, I can see that thing. It's not steep yeah. compared to all the other hills previous. Yeah. You know, I mean, mm. I climbed, I climbed uh, Drummond at 4.26, I think, mm. you know. And I, when I was there, 4.30. That's good, actually. It's because and of the 80 kilometers exactly. on the legs. Yeah. 80 kilometers on the legs. Yeah. Now in the you body. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so, so, so I'm saying, I mean, it was, it was either, you know, sub six um, or six ten. Because at that time, I thought, there's no way I'm going to kill myself. And as long as I can do a PB, yeah. you know, that, that, that's all that I wanted. And, 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 and rightfully so, I mean, one of the things as well, I think that worked out for me on the day was the fact that, I mean, the... the I tried to stick to the fueling. I mean, for the first oh, time, yeah. I didn't have my sandwich. I normally have a sandwich somewhere. I didn't have that. But I had, like, um, I, I had Race Pro. I had Hydrate. Yes. <laughs> uh, and, and I had the Cremba yes. I mean, I had a chat with Mark. You know, he says, okay, one, at least have maybe uh, Cremba Salt at, you know, every hour and have mm. Race Pro. I don't think you're going to need Hydrate. And I'm thinking myself, I think I will need hydrate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I yeah. think I will. Yeah. But because, because it kind of d gives you a different flavor. Yes. You know, you, uh, I've got the race pro as a gel. I've got the hydrate as, as a gel. And I can only get like with water and stuff. But sometimes when you're sipping, when I sip something that is a bit nice, <laughs> that, yeah. taste, that's, that, that tastes nice. That's yeah, just, it exactly. it just, just, just a little bit. Exactly. You, you, know? yeah. um, you just can't stick to the same flavor, the same mm -hmm. taste or... Yes. You need that that, yeah. that, that mix up. And I think bo I mean both 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 Rene and, and Debo have said it's it's you know, you try and find a pace and just have to enjoy the pain the whole time. I mean at some point I was like okay now I'm I'm tired, I can feel my hamstrings. Um, mm. you know, they're feeling a bit tight, now do I slow down? And um and I thought, I'm not gonna walk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna walk because yeah. immediately you start walking to start again going to be an effort so i rather slow down um so all the hills um i slowed down as expected um downhills my fastest k was i think about 55 it was three minute 28 seconds on my fastest and and i, I wasn't aware i was, was just running yes, mm. yes 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 <laughs> fields of water, they <laughs> yes, yeah. yes yeah. but then I also i was worried because cows were still coming, mm. oh, and yeah. of course, and, and of course, cows showed me who. Yeah. I'm, I'm still cows. Yes. 
And you were double checked. I'm still feeling No, no, I was. I was. I was. You know, and and that's when you realize. Hmm. And this is this is how I consoled myself. They're running for podium. I'm running for time. Yes. Oh, yeah. In my own time. Yes, I'm on time. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, and how many and how many ladies were last year in front of you? Five or six, maybe. No, it was, no. It was only one. No, not only one. one. Remember last oh, because year? Because they ran very fast yes. this year. Remember yeah. last la, la, last year the time was six twenty three for the ladies. For the yeah. winner. For the yes, winner. yes, yes. I came in at six twenty five, I think, or six twenty two. Um, I came in at 6.23. That's so. a big, big uh, it's a difference. Big difference. Yeah. Like, this year, the, Comrades was fast. The whole yeah. race was very this, this fast. The whole race it's almost like the level just stepped mm. up. Yeah. It's massive. Yeah, I think everyone like I told you, with your year. time, you should have won. Any yeah. Yeah. So, so let's hear from Vuvu. <laughs> yes. you, so we're not giving you a chance to speak. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I just, um, I mean, no, like, obviously we're listening to some, some runners here that train at a very different level. You love comrades also from a social perspective, yeah. uh, club perspective, you know. So, I mean, tell us, first of all, how, I mean, tell us how you got into running and how you got into comrades and, and your experience. Well, I think I started running in 2015. So I was, I was surrounded by the guys that were running, uh, Bilangulu, who's friends with uh, Wandi uh, and, and the guys. So then I, I hosted them for uh, after or after comrades medal uh, in my house and i just i knew that day that i want to go and do this thing well they were whining and whatever so i was like i maybe i can okay well i'll go and and see for myself then i went so the first first ever a uh, marathon i qualified on was the uh up so up and they it was very fast of course and they told me that everybody runs a sub for the so if I go there and I don't run a sub because they collect the gates after four hours, so I must make sure that I run a sub because they were all telling lies. But I did run a 3.58. Uh, sure. So no, that's like, real. So your first marathon. Yeah. First marathon. Yeah. 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 So then I went. She's not a jogger. Yeah. No, 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 it's not. no, no, no. <laughs> Then 2016 came and I, I was still training with them. Uh, they, were, they were using me for a slow to train their long distance and they wanted to maintain a six minutes per K. So I was a, six, a regular six minutes per K. So they trained with me and that actually helped because then I managed to run 8.55. So I passed the halfway mar- marathon mark at 4.09 uh. uh, that year and and I went somehow. I managed to still run uh, and run a second half, a uh, fairly good from a, from a novice point point of view. And I did eight fifty five, mm-hmm. and that's how I fell in love with comrades. And I just kept going back. So I think the last time I ran was twenty nineteen, uh, and also it was another uh, Bill Rowan, uh, and then I've been on maternity leave. So it's my first. So it. I'm retraining and retracing my steps oh, back nice. to to running. It's like I'm restarting all over again. So the plan this year was literally to reteach myself how to run. And obviously, if you're running faster and now you have to now slow down and understand that you cannot run the same times that you used to run. I mean, I ran two oceans at five hours and, and you know, it, it, it it's difficult to run, uh, to teach yourself how to run seven minutes per K for, from five minutes per K. Mm. So if your marathon is three thirty five and now you suddenly cannot even run five hours. So it's it, it's been a journey. But I only got confidence that I can go to comrades in April. That's when I ran four thirty in Paris. Then I knew that I'm going. So I took that decision on the second of April. Between before that I wasn't going. So even my mileage is then from second of April until June. So then I, I said, you know, I'm not going to run a week. Whatever happens, I'm not going <laughs> to run 11 Not the copper. Not the copper no. medal. <laughs> but if anything happens, then in, I think towards the end, I ran, I qualified by 408. I think I ran a 408, which was like, okay, then I can run. Yeah. But still, I got confidence that I can finish bronze. But definitely, if I run a sub 10, it would be a big ask. And I'm not sure if I'm ready for the ask as yet, because I still want to go back to comfortable PR and run a same spirit in, in, in two oceans. So I don't want to push the limits and, and, you know, end up injuring myself. So I went for my comfortable uh, 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 bronze this year. I knew if I climb up and I'm at 60 and the average pace is 7.10, then I'm fine. I'll be okay. 
So then I was running average 7.15, 7.19, 7.15, 7.19 till I got to 58. 58, when I got to 58, then I knew I then I'm fine. It's it's in the bag. Whatever happens here, yeah, it will happen. Gravity will take you the rest uh, of the yes, way. Definitely. <laughs> and I'm a down run queen, so I enjoy <laughs> down run. So definitely after 60, 75, 65, then I, whether I like it or not, I'll still run anyway. So I was fine. So I had my whole family, my 20 months daughter was there, so I was running around and and you know i had i had them in uh, so i would stop and take videos and so oh. i knew th- i knew that i'm i'm not running for time but i just want to get back to the mindset of being a runner so that's so, so uh, i mean it's I, I i suppose also you've got the difficulty of having a young child and having to look after yeah. her all the time and uh, and also try and fit the training in so it's yeah. not it's not easy being a, a mom and trying to get back into running no, definitely it's not because some some days when you wake up and she's she wakes up before you do so it's better if she doesn't wake up then you can sneak out but if she wakes up before you do then it's difficult to you, you know you then then mom guilt you don't really want to wake up and then you postpone and you shift your training time and you miss on the group training then i would run more alone run around seven around eight when the helper is up uh, but if she wakes up then i know my training that day is gone. I can't go. And it's interesting. I mean, we, yeah. we know we've worked with one of the, and you've run with one of the legendary runners of South Africa, which is Caroline Vossman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and Caroline started her big running journey as well, you know, mm-hmm. uh, after giving yep. birth and, and getting back into shape. And it was amazing what she achieved. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I can actually relate with you on the family life. And I think yeah. it's, it's very important to have a, support the family structure sure. you know you need yeah. to have a wife that's bought into the running yeah. or yeah. husband you know wait, wait, he, and they must also just like it just and understand it you know <laughs> yeah. and um you know she's you know she's stressed more than me the day before of the mm. seconding on the route and she's bought into the dream so we've yeah. been chasing this gold medal <laughs> and um i think sometimes um she's like we can't stop you know we, we must keep on going and then yeah. i'm like am i getting too old but then i turned 40 and then yeah. one day is 47 the boy is 44 and he's still running a 523 oh, so, so, so i'm not stopping guys no, no, i'm no, not no. stopping <laughs> i'm still chasing i'm still chasing 52 this year oh, wow. believe yes. me you've got some really good years ahead of you really. yes and i think one must just look after yourself of course yeah and 100 yeah. and i think in all i think like the boss mentioned the 81 year old yeah. that broke the record. I think even the 50-year-old record was broken by a guy named Wayne Spies from Australia. Mm. He broke mm. Vladimir Kotov's yes, um, yes. record. Yeah. I think the record for 50 plus was 548. He made it 541. Oh. Yeah. But he was in Dahlstrom for six weeks training with the Netbank group. Oh. And, uh, but he took off from work and he set out to do that. Yeah. But it just shows you, and he's also yeah, advanced. He's in his 50s and he did that. So yeah. it's amazing. And I think there's, um, yeah, one gets stronger with the years. And I think all of out of it, consistency is the key. Yeah. Yeah. Year on year training, like yeah. the boss mentioned, your training starts a year before of with your course. base yeah. training, your planning and everything. So I think it's yeah. like now I take a bit of downtime and I took like I haven't run yet since converts, which is a good thing. I'll start cycling a bit, but I do yeah. think that <laughs> the body and the mind needs a bit of a rest. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Needs yeah. to yeah. spend yeah. a bit of time with your family as of well, course. put some yeah. time into your kids and yeah. you know that they also yeah, and it's winter as well, so we can hibernate a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so let's talk a bit about nutrition, because you brought up a bit. I mean, obviously, we know that as we age, um, especially as you get closer to mid-40s and then 50s and then towards your 60s, and I'm experiencing that now, recovery is very difficult. Yeah, yes. definitely. It's not easy to recover from session to session. Definitely. Uh, I definitely have to do a lot more strength work. Wendy yeah. does a lot of. Let me tell you, yeah. I saw this guy doing strength before, comrade. <laughs> jumping yeah. one leg at lunges, got you to the yeah. That's I mean, what got him to the substance. One hundred percent. I mean, yeah. I, and 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 I saw. I mean, when you used to go to yeah. um, that uh, strength gym as well, Correct, when you yeah. were doing deadlifts and squats, yeah. etc. Mm, yeah. I came from a strength background, and and I neglected it for many years during endurance. And when I went back to strength, I realized. Man, this is it's the game changer as you age for sure, Definitely. and the science is clear on that. But mm. aside from that, I mean, nutrition also plays a very vital role. Maybe that's why we're seeing people as they're aging are performing at a much better age. They mm. they're getting smarter at recovering better. Mm. They're fitting in the strength. They're smarter at training. Yes. They understand not to. Uh, I think a lot of runners overtraining. We can talk about that just now. Yeah. But but nutrition has also become 
like a big focus of especially a lot of athletes I, I mean at your level i mean at the level that most of you guys are at you can't indulge and overindulge all the mm. time no. i mean yeah. i mean you basically you ferraris and you're fueling it with the best possible fuel you know yes. to reach yeah. those levels of high performance yeah. so i mean just talk about daily nutrition i mean do you guys give it quite a lot of focus make sure that you're taking in enough energy to support your level of training and from a recovery perspective Yes, you, you can go, Wendy. Look, I mean, I think, I think, I think for me is is when I'm getting closer to to race. Like like me, I did spend a little time looking at what I eat, um, especially. Okay, here's the thing for me. Um, I like sweet stuff. I've never seen Wendy actually eat. So <laughs> 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 like sweet but, stuff. but 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 yeah, I, I, you know, I I I love sweet stuff. Um, I love maguinha, you know. Mm. Uh, I love I love traditional food, you know, and 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 one of the things that I had to intentionally do is one look at the portions, you know, um, and things like, you know, uh, fat that you know just basically clog up my blood vessels and stuff like that. Get rid of that. But I was more focused in terms of my uh, protein intakes, especially for the recovery. So, so one of the things as well for me that that I think. Uh, work well for me was the fact that and, and it came from my experience when I ran Boston last year so when I ran Boston last year um, I had run at 237 in New York uh, and then I went to Boston I I got to about 30 30k mark um, at projected time of 230 marathon and I thought I got this and I passed 32 towards 33 34. I just hit a wall. And, 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 I, I, and I came back and I reflected. And I realized one of the things was the faster you run, the more frequent you need to be fuel your body, yeah. right? Mm. I was used to take the gels at every 40 minutes, right? Every 40 minutes, 40 minutes running at 333 pace mm. is not the same as running uh, four, meter, 4 meter K. It's not the same. So, so the, the faster I, 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 I run, the more I need to fuel. I mean, I had a chat um, after, after, after my posting. So that's one of the things as well, I think, that, work, that worked for me is that, okay, fine. What I need to recognize that, one, you can't be, you can't be taking, you know, your fueling in, in minutes. You know, maybe 5Ks might be better, mm. you know, because you know by that, chances are maybe by 5K, you're about, what, 18Ks, 19Ks? Um, oh, so 90, 90, 90 minutes, minutes yeah. 90 minutes, 18 minutes, 85 Ks in comparison to 25 minutes on your training run. Mm -hmm. You know, so the faster, the faster you run, the more frequently you need to fuel your body so it can sustain you. So yes, I mean, I did spend a lot of focus, and there's a reason why. I mean, I consulted people to say, you know what, this is my plan for race day. But like you said, it doesn't start on the race day. Mm -hmm. You start prior to that. You know, so that you can condition your body. I mean, I would do my long runs. After my long run, make sure that I take my recovery, uh, make sure that I rest, um, and, and even my long runs as well. Um, I mean, we always say that you use, uh, what you use on the race is what you should have tested on your long run. Mm. You know, so, mm. so those kind of things as well, they come into play. In no, actual fact, no. um, yeah. I, I, after one day's race, and I asked him, after comrades, and I asked him how he fueled, yeah. I actually calculated he was... Um, he was over 80 grams of carbohydrate yes. equivalent per an hour. Yep. That's and he um, needed and, that. And, and, yeah. your, yeah. and your weight is? Uh, 67. So, so you're, yes. talking about, you're talking way yeah. over one gram yeah. of carbohydrate yeah. Yeah. per kilogram of body yes. weight. So yeah. it's quite interesting because when you deal with like more, and I'm calling you more of an elite runner because anybody that oh. runs sub six is elite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's one>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <For sure. laughs> you are elite, my friend. Um, when you deal with with most of the the backpack runners, they they tend to actually they they look they these guys are consuming like 30, 40 grams of carbs per an hour, and I just don't think it's sustainable to to to, yeah. to run a to run a decent yeah. comrades. Even if you're running at the back, there remember it's all about perception. For them, yes. it's also hard. Exactly, it's, just, it's also hard. It's a, it's yeah. a hard effort. Yes. For somebody running six minutes a K or for somebody running four minutes a K, yeah. it's all about perception. That, that yeah. rate of perceived effort is really, it could be the same for yeah. both. Yeah. Um, the fueling still has to be on point and a lot of yeah. people yeah. let that down. I mean, Renier, you, yeah, you've also, sure. I mean, I saw your videos post comrades. I mm. mean, you, your wife was feeding you every day. Yeah. <laughs> she was there making yes. sure you had your nutrition. I know there were support tables in route, yeah. but I mean, how did you, 
I mean, let's talk talk about your day, your yeah. nutrition, and then also okay. talk a bit about like from a sports nutrition point of view, like um, how you feel. Yeah, I would like to share that. So from a diet point of view, I think I did chat to you as well, and I think that's somewhere I can improve on. Mm. I've also got a sweet tooth like Wandy. <laughs> and then I almost, I tried to eat healthy, but I don't like um, have a specific, yeah. I tried to take in carbs and proteins, and I know I need a bit of everything, especially when I'm training hard. But um, I know it's important after like speed sessions or tempo sessions or after long runs to get in that pea protein or the recover. That's very important. Get in your glutamins, um, maybe your creatins, the BCAA, stuff like that is important to get in. But um, I think, you know, feeling for training blogs, I think I can work on that. I do feel, but I think I can be more scientific or more specific if we can you know, point it out like that. And then on race day, um, like you said, you've you've hit the, you've hit it on the on yeah. the nailed it on the head, you know. Um, like Wandy also, you know that seventy to eighty gram carbs per hour, it's perfect, you know. And I work on that basis as well to get in like seventy to eighty grams per hour. And I try to drink each twenty to thirty minutes. I drink mm. two hundred and fifty mils of um, of the race or the endure, and then each hour I also take in a cramp salt and I take yeah. in the thirty two joy caffeine shots as well. So I think my formula is also about 70 to 80 gram carbs per hour. You definitely need that. What, what's your weight, Renia? Yeah? I'm also, I'm about 62. Okay, okay. so yes. so that's a, it's a yeah. big fit. Yeah. I, I mean, today guys are trying to go over 90 grams, even up to, I've, I've got a runner running uh, the Liberato, this mountain race, in, in, and he's up to 120 grams of carbs per sure. hour. Sure, oh. um, that's a which lot. Which is incredible, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. And, he's, and he tolerates it. It's actually incredible. Sure. That is incredible. So I think it's about yeah. also training your gut and, yeah. and knowing that you can, yes. you know, trying to make sure there's gastrointestinal comfort and yeah. pushing that 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 uh, that level up. So and uh, I think that's it can, where the science is heading. No, for sure. <laughs> and I think it can be a bit more even because I even, I think on four points, I even ate some race pro bars, mm. but I took like a half a bar. And then on the route as well, I think twice I ate the banana as well. Yes. So that will even up yeah. the carbs even more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so can be close to 90. I, I, I think it comes with the educational part. Yes. Well, some yes. of the guys, we can talk about this nutrition, how many carbs you need exactly, and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't know and you don't understand yeah. and why I, mu I must take this thing, yeah. yes. where are they going to help me? Exactly. This is what we are having with these elite guys. You might find we, Temuro, at the moment, is, is keep on getting this um, position seven. You might find this a win of comrades. You can break the record easy. Yeah. If we get it right, Yes. and get educated yes. when to take it why you take it yeah. why are you yeah. taking it yeah. because uh, it's in our black community oh, we won't lie yeah. mm. we 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 know but that nutrition it's, it's one of the best way to get fit when you're running yeah. Mm. Yeah. but now the problem is how are you taking it mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. you can get this all these boats they found us the guys some of the other phone hey guys i can see the max leaf team is using the ggi product which one must i use yes yeah. and it's asking me two weeks before comrade and yes. i'm like yeah. i don't even know now <laughs> yeah. but i'll just tell you okay you can just get an endurance or a racer and, and a recovery yeah. i'm not gonna take about the bars and all of these oh, yeah. things yeah. Yeah. but now yeah. it's too many for him yeah, yeah. but yeah. I, that's why it's come to the you need to start educating all these guys that you need to take these things prior to the race mm. and in your training. That's what some of them, they use other products. Mm. And this one, now they see, they go on the race using the yeah. yeah. They, they change to their yes. pro that product and using the You mm. test, yes. test it and yeah. find all the day maybe twerking and but uh, most of the cases not twerking because you end up not even know how to take it. Yes. Yeah. I, I think we still need to have I would say role shows in the clubs, clubs also show where we go and teach, if not only like the big runners, the yeah. elite themselves. Yeah. There are lots of elite that I know that yeah. you go to a training camp and you put, you can put them in the table, put recovery, the tissue recovery, endurance. Some of them they don't even touch it. Yeah. Mm. They just believe in eating pup. Yes. yes, and the chicken yes, tongue. Yes, yes, yeah. For them, it's, it's yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's yeah. their <laughs> mental. Yeah. So they yeah. think that mm, in yeah. them, in, they run it with their talent because yes. in their mind they think that I've taken pup, I'm full and chicken yeah. good for protein, mm. so I can go and run. Yes. But mm. can you imagine a person like that yeah. managing to get the top ten or mm. in, the, in the in the comrade mm. and only eating that and not taking properly yes. the nutrition? Yeah. So now if he is going to be full properly. 
Yes. It's going to go it's going to do wonders. Yeah, what it can be. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and and with what you, what you just said now and, and break it down to a simplest term because for example, I mean we, you know like um 90 grams per hour per cup. Mm. I don't know that. That's the yeah. thing. That's what I'm, I, I'm trying to say I, I don't even know. Yeah. Mm. Like even my, me I've been I've been I've been in the game for years. Yes, mm. like but I, I, I don't understand to take that uh, you know what that? is yes. exactly that yes. 90 gram. Yes. Yes. Oh, because yes, yes. we are normally having the trend mean Yes. Of, uh, the bottles. Ex- the bottles. Yeah. When the guy yeah. shouted me, Martin, recover. I'm yeah. taking the recover and give it to him. Yes, you don't, no, I don't even know sure how, how much is there. there. Yeah. Yeah. And the way I'm mixing it, I don't know. Yes. Maybe some of them are just put yeah. two, two spoons, spoons or four uh, spoons. Or four yeah. spoons, the, the balance is not yeah. and there. Then, and, and then you see Rene uh, and Debo having the same body, mm. right? Similar structure. Sure. Yeah. And you realize that actually Debo is wearing 55, he's wearing 62. So yeah. so so what you should be giving him yeah. is probably less than what he needs. What is he needs? Yes. 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 Exactly. Yes. My wife yes. is getting get more than what yes. yes. Renee's yeah. getting. Well, so the, remember on a down run, the lighter you are, the lower the impact on the body. So probably yes. Yes. the less energy you're expending over a longer period of time. So oh, yes. so so energy intake will yeah. probably be on the lower end. Yeah. Well. And also, Mark is the valid point. If you sweat more, then you need to take in more as well. Of course. Your sweat yes. levels as well. Because I don't sweat a lot. I don't know about you, Tibo, but I don't really. I sweat a bit but you know I can run like you are wet and but you're not like dripping from yeah. there. Look the, the bigger you are the more surface area on the skin the heavier you are the more you're going to sweat. Yes. Mm. yes. The more fluid you're going to yes. lose in the but form of sweating exercise. You so need to take in more. Yeah. The more co- the more the more the most common um, mistakes that athletes are doing in races it's is that they only take supplement when the body needs it. Yes. Exactly. Then it's yeah. already too All late. Of them. Then yeah. it's already too yeah. late. Yeah. Yeah. It's too late. Yeah. You to, uh, you'll yeah. see. You you can see when we second these guys. You try to force him to give him yeah. Yeah. in the first yeah. first 15 cases. Take, yeah. take. Yeah. Like, I'm fine. Fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yes. And you, you understand. Myself, I'm yeah. understanding because my kids having these shows and everything. Yes. I understand yes. that he must sip at least take something yes. just yes. to have this thing. But you'll find that after 60 cases, that's where they start saying, yeah. "Martin, okay. I need this. I need that." But it's too late. Yes, yes. I've been trying saying, to give you this, but yeah. you're not. It's not going to wait now. You're out. You no, know, my plan. I've got 16 points across the route. I want See. to drink 16 times. I take drinks. You know, yeah. I start to yeah. drink at like poly shots already on the down at 10 k's yeah. when it's yeah. still dark. Yeah. My yeah. oak must get me there. There I must drink my first drink. But it will be interesting to hear from Tebo yeah. how he does it and where does he start drinking. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, for for Tebo, okay. no, for for the comrades. Yes. Maybe in, apart from comrades, maybe we'll. For for himself on that one, mm. but for comrades for us it's it's difficult for the guys to get to a certain point. Ah, you have to me. get to everyone. Everyone, po- yeah. So mm. what we, what we normally yeah. we have about I think about four or six points. Six six points mm. that yeah. we get get S- to you guys. Seven, in. it will be not balanced. Yeah, we ah, try. Yeah, we try the seventh yeah. one. We try mm. to yeah. keep, but now Eight depending minutes. on the time yeah. and the distance, yeah. Yeah. because now the, remember these guys we are. Using our cars yes. to go and second them. Yeah, so now it's easy you, to get there. So once you, it used to be. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah no, no, no. We, we, we used to have the cars and roof. Yeah. It was better that way. When we that was much better. Yeah. But now it's, it, we don't have those cars, so you have to think about the guy who's leading. But even now, when Tebo was in the top 10, hmm. the guys in the top 15 that can get a gold. We totally forget about him. Yes. Yeah. More focused on this. Now we what we have now. Yeah. Let's focus on this one because we have this gold now already. We can just improve. Yes. On this one. So that's why the problem is sometimes with elite teams. People don't understand that. The, 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 the you don't have the personal actually if you have standing seconds that can stay there because now you need to move. You're yeah. still waiting for someone. So, but yeah. you have to get to him to get his bottle at the Or next point. We just point. leave the guy there yeah. and we have to think about going to Tewoko. Get the ball quick and come back and call it these guys, so we can put them on another, another yeah. station. So it's it's difficult for us when it comes to comrades on the day to fool the guys. It's very difficult. Maybe 16 points for me is a lot. I know people get no, away no, with eight to ten. Sean, Sean Mitchell, I think, be. has got over 20 something. No. He sent me his feeling plan from the previous year, and yes. it's amazing. It's amazing how structured yeah. he is with his fueling. Yeah. He's got a specific fuel for every single point, and there's probably like 30 people feeding him on route. But yes. sure. but it's but look at Sean. No, yeah, for two, exactly. Sean Reds won 21 silver medals, mm-hmm. 10 yeah. goals, and an age yeah. 60, 10 goals. 10 I mean, goals, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it shows yeah. you how 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 he's been performing all these years, and yeah. how structured he is. To be able to achieve those levels of performance, but again, Mike, yeah. like I was saying, it, 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 
it doesn't happen on that day. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It yeah. happens for because I know Sean how we eat. <laughs> it doesn't take anything. Yeah. yeah. Sean needs from now on. Yes. Yeah. I yes. know he will yeah. be like he's mm. on the diet. He mm. understand. Yeah. He's been in a com- complex for his rain complex for years. He understand what I need to take and when I need to take. Mm. That's why he ca- even calculated for you saying he's been for for he's got 20 spot. He understand that I need this at this time. Mm. I need this mm. at the time. So we still struggling to educate our athletes. Yes. Mm. That how you, why you have to that it's, it's important thing that was the, the important thing is to why I must take this. Yeah. Because they sometimes they just see me and like I need to recover. And you're like, now why? Mm. I have, I have seven so. sports that I mustn't <laughs> miss. So I have my five seven packs that I yeah. pre-pack myself. I have a pre pre-race pack and my family must be at twi- at thirty. I feed myself on the first at uh, eight yes. ten. So yeah. I carry a banana yes, and whatever yeah. I carry whatever. Then I feed myself on the first a uh, uh, hour, eight ish, nine ish. Feed myself by the thirty. They must be there. That's when I take my breakfast. Yeah, you guys are like. And then at <laughs> <laughs> people at thirty are setting points for us. <laughs> Halfway they must be there, and at sixty I must still get somebody, and at seventy I must get somebody because the closer I get to the half, and then at seventy then they can go to the finish line, and at finish I must still have my recovery uh, foods to eat, so I eat immediately fifty. So you see, with us we don't even go it halfway. Mm. None she, of our life from sure. from halfway to get so something. Yeah. Yeah. And if, and because I we the problem pets. is if you go in, yes, uh, uh, Drummond, you're not gonna be able to go out. Yes. yes. So you, so I like get my days, family, man. and I, I have to. So we don't like go at all. It's just go to Inchanga from Inchanga straight to. How is no? Uh, no, uh, Bottas, Banta. Bottas, no, Bottas, 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 So I'm used to But do you know that, that the airphones are not allowed? So, no. One no, day no, training. No, <laughs> yes, no, during training. training. Oh, during training. Yeah, during yeah, training. So yeah. in the race, I've got the pouch, which I'm used to, because my yeah. phone is in there. Yes. So I've got my cramp assaults there, I've got my, yes. my caffeine shots in there, and I've got my tabs in there. Yeah. Yeah. So if I miss someone, or if I can't get <laughs> feeding in the beginning, yeah. then, you have something then like I have some. And then as my cramp assaults and my caffeine shots gets... Um, gets eaten up. Mm. I just from a next point I then get new ones mm. and then just put it into the pouch yeah. and but refill, you know. So yeah. Renee, let me tell you something. You'll be surprised when maybe t- t- talks about how they fool themselves. Because I can tell you these guys they can run about 70 Ks mm. without any recovery. Jeez. Yeah. Only using insurance or the racer. They, look, That's amazing. So the, the more yeah. you the more you train yourself to so be body, uh, fat efficient, yes. the more yes. you rely on yeah. your own energy yeah. stores. Yeah. No, you can. But, yeah, for but, sure. But once yeah. you start burning matches, and you That's do the thing. and you do need to put the gas down. Mm. Of course. Like if you look how that race was won, I mean, with Tete and Edward and and Peter. They were still um, I mean, I mean, when Peter he ran, he broke away down Fields Hill. Mm. Yes. Tete had to run up to him and catch him, and that left left Edward back. E- mm. Edward d- just he didn't have the means to be able to catch the two of them. Yes, and the two of them are racing head on head. And 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 to be quite honest, when when it came down to that level of effort, yeah, yes, you yeah. needed the fuel to get you to the finish line. Mm. For sure, yeah. there, there's yeah. no yeah. way. There's no ways yeah. they would. You, you know that 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 fuel was needed to get yeah. to the finish line. Yeah. There's no yeah. ways they could have fasted ran. The rest of the way and expected to achieve Perform a very high level of performance yeah. to be able to cross the line first, yeah. and 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 so that f- fuel makes a difference. So definitely, you know, you need mm. to you need to fuel the effort. Obviously, when it comes to training, there's times where an endurance athlete is is very fat efficient. They can perform yes. at yeah. high intensities, yeah. Yeah. and they train their bodies to do that mm. because they're able to run within specific thresholds of training. Yeah, and if you can run in a very Uh, if you've got a very high aerobic threshold, um, if, you, if you're aerobic efficient, let's say, 
you've got the ability mm. to burn off fat, you know, mm. maybe at a high intensity over a longer period of time. But once you cross into that anaerobic threshold, that glycolytic mm. threshold, as we, it as we, long. you know, once you're going into zone three and glycolytic, mm. I mean, you are chewing up glycogen. Yes. Mm. You need to spare mm. it as much as possible. Yeah. And the only way to spare that glycogen is either you're burning off a whopping load of fat, which is not the most efficient way of doing it, or yes. or you're ingesting carbohydrates yeah. in order mm. to be able to spare it, to be mm. able to give you that, you know, that. I would say that rocket fuel when it's really needed. Yeah, it's right what but you're saying. And, and Martin also said these, some of the elite guys can run 70 k's without fueling. Yeah. Which I think me and Wani can also do. I can go for 40 k run without drinking anything. Yeah. But then I'm thinking of the recovery afterwards. It's matter. bad for the exactly, body. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes I go on a long run. Then after 10 k's, I know I must stop at a garage and have a uh, power eight or have water mm. or something. Yeah. I don't want to stop. Yeah. But I do stop because I know for the recovery yeah. afterwards. Because... Yes. No, no matter who you are, if you run 70 k's without water, you are dehydrating yourself. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Definitely. And, and it's not even just that. It's so if you're also running without nutrition, yes. You, yes. you're yes. still depleting energy stores. Your glycogen yeah. is going to yes. drop over the time because of cardiac drift. Yeah. Mm. And and the thing is, is that if you're not ingesting something during training, your recovery afterwards is going to it's be longer, a lot longer. Yeah. Yes. And another thing that you've got to think about is, is that it, you want to try and remain in an energy balance. So what yes. you're burning yes. off on yeah. a daily basis, yeah. you want to try and put back in. Put back yeah. in. Because yeah. if you're not, you're going to land up with that domino effect. In other words, yes. you're going to feel the fatigue the next day and the next day, and it's going to impact your ability to carry on training consistently. Yeah. Yes. And you're also putting your immune system at risk. That's yeah. where sickness and, comes in. And, and then yeah. you're, also, you're also running the risk of injury. So... So fueling is not always required. I think mm. there's a time and a place for it. Yeah. But yeah. ultimately, it, it does benefit you from a recovery perspective. Yeah. Yes. But, but what I wanted to okay. say is, 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 and this is quite important, Martin, you mentioned the athletes running at 70 Ks at a certain pace. So imagine fueling them properly during mm. that 70 yes. Ks. Yeah. No, no, Ima- imagine no, imagine, they r- imagine they're that's idling true. at 3,000 revs or just under, mm. and they're able to run at 4 minutes a K for yeah. 70 no, for Ks sure. on yeah. water. Yeah. Yes. Then you go and you give them some kind of exogenous fuel source. And they're taking something in from the outer end. Imagine that pace could drop now to 355 over the 75Ks and they're yeah. feeling amazing. That, that five seconds that they're running faster over that 70Ks is going to make an absolute difference in their ability mm. to perform over time. So, so the fueling, is not, it's not like it's always necessarily needed, mm. but it absolutely is going to play a role in aiding performance. Yes. Yeah, that's true. I mean, one, one of the... One of the, one of the um, that I said, uh, I gave it to one of the clubs before comrades, and and then now I'm talking about you know the guys at the back and uh, and I said, you know what? So on a normal day, on a normal day, you have your breakfast what around seven eight o'clock. Mm. Yeah. On a, on a normal day, mm. now on comrades day, you woke up at two, right, and hit something around about three o'clock. So yeah. by the time you are at the start at half past five at the start, yeah, you already you. had something an hour and a half prior, mm. and then you run for another two hours by seven or half past seven, yep. mm. right? You, you, you see a water point. You say, no, no, I'm fine. It's too early. It's too early. Yeah. I'm, I'm still okay. And, and because the sun is not up as yet, mm. yeah. you know? But, but on a normal day, you're having your breakfast around that time. Exactly. Mm. So at the end, you have your breakfast while you're not active. Yes. Mm. You, you're working out from home. Okay, you know what? Breakfast at about eight o'clock. Now, you've been pounding for a good two hours, mm. but then you say you're okay. <laughs> no. You know? <laughs> and, 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 and you ask yourself, then how are you going to survive in the next? And for me, like Renu said, mm. for me, literally from, from the start, I mean, I had to chat with Mark as well. Before the start, I have my job. Mm. And literally, like every, I think about 40 minutes, yes. I'll take something in, whether I feel like or don't feel like. Yeah. Because I, yeah. like, because I want to try and make sure that I keep my energy stores up there. And that know? also helped you to achieve the sub-6 I mean, because the depression your, can make or break it. You know? At, at yeah. your pace, you were probably burning off seven, 800 calories an hour. Easily. You know? Probably uh, easily. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, yeah. And, and you're talking thousands of calories being burned. Sure, yeah. a lot of that can be burnt in the form of, you know, free fatty acids, etc. But yeah. But you, you're chewing... You definitely are chewing up <laughs> your energy system, and you health. need to yeah. you need to replenish it. There's absolutely no doubt. Yeah. Especially if you want to hold you you yeah. ran close. To, uh, you ran a negative split actually. Was it an the even 20, split? Twenty three seconds of twenty three seconds of pause. An even yeah. split. How do yeah. you how do you hold an effort like that yeah. without giving yourself the proper fuel? Yeah, yeah. that's mm-hmm. the thing. Yeah, and and I, and I try and console myself that maybe the twenty three seconds came when just before I stopped the watch after crossing the finish line. 
Oh, yeah. So it was actually no, closer to even split. Yeah, 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 maybe it did. Yeah. So maybe it was yeah. also the debate when yeah. you were getting checked. Yeah. 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 Maybe you were celebrating too yeah. much. There were sub six that you forgot to stop the watch. That jump, that jump yeah. at the finish. The jump, yeah. but the jump you need to do. Ah, that jump. That jump. I would like to. Yeah, the ball. I mean, Tupoko, yeah. Let us know. I mean, you know. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe, maybe, well, let him tell us. Does he know he's big or is he dependent on Mark? Maybe, to maybe, him? maybe yeah. I could have got him to the yeah. first position. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, like uh, my, my manager said, uh, <coughs> for us as an elite, it's more difficult because my belief. And my understanding is that the, the very important side for my side is during the training. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. On the race day, the supplement or no supplement we didn't put in the mind because you're going to lose the race because of that. Okay. So our main focus is to be in the stadium. Okay. So, sometimes <laughs> it happened like this. As an elite, we used to be given everything, not mm. buying for ourselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, we used to depend mm. on the clubs, on the mark. Mark mm. doesn't give us the booster, so how, how should I? <laughs> I'm sitting down, so nothing we can do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like for the nutrition side, before COVID, I was not struggling anymore about the boosters. Mm. Mm -hmm. Anymore. I would be lying if I could say anything. But after COVID now, I don't know what's happening. Mm. So if I have one tin of the, one container of the recovery, mm. I have to take it oh. little so that it can last, 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 last longer. Long. Because yeah. you know from Lesotho to go Bloomfontein, because you don't have the, any branch in Lesotho. Mm. And I did. Ask your mark to, to open the bread. Open the bronze day. <laughs> then the ball will send fast. you some customers. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, no. it's tough for us mm. to cross the border, go and look for the. Yeah, even for me. The, 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 money, the, money, the money that I, I, I use for the transport is the one that I'm supposed to use to buy the, the boosters. Mm. So that thing is it, it, not balancing at all. That is why most of us, you will see, even though when we are in the camp, we see them there, last the six weeks. On my training, last six weeks is the competition period. Mm -hmm. mm. Everything I do in the last six weeks is the one that I'm going to do it in the race day. Everything you are, you are supposed to eat and you are supposed to uh, drink, you have to be putting your good calculations on them, like Mark said before. And for my side, as a coach now, I'm talking on the coach level, I'm not an athlete now. Mm. Mm. For my side, uh, I prefer to put all those things before I start training. Mm. Mm. And then put the drawing board there and put the everything, even the budget there. Mm. Mm. If I could have something like that, I think I will be breaking so many the record of, uh, for some ra so many races in South Africa here. Mm. The problem for my side is only the budget. Mm. Because you'll be seeing that this body need this and this and this and this so that it can be mm. having this level of training. Mm. But the problem is the budget. How mm. are you going to reach there? Mm. 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 Like, uh, like we are talking about the marathon runner. When you're going for the marathon, at least, at least, at least 17 weeks training. Mm. Three months. Yeah. <laughs> and that's off a base. That's yeah. off yeah. a solid base. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. yeah. So, so yo, those, yeah. Those, yeah. Those, yeah. those 17 weeks is your intense training for yeah. the marathon. Yeah. 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 yeah, specific yeah. marathon, yeah. So, oh. can't be less than that. When, when you are yeah. looking for the budget for that 17 weeks, you will see. The price that you are going to win in the race yeah. is less yeah. than the budget ah, so that you are going months. to okay. expend. Yes, yes, four yes, months yes, of a proper. Yes, so yes, do, yes, to yes. balance those things, that is where we have a problem. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. As an athlete. Good insight. So, on the sport, 
it's like in a business mm. where you have to go and buy the stock and sell it so that you can get the profit on it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So ourselves as an, uh, an athlete, especially the, the marathon say, or the running, um, we are paying little but spending a lot. Mm. It's true. It's just yeah, we are here true. for the passion, not for the that's true, actually. The business side. Mm. So yeah. straight to the point, we can have the marathon runners that they can break all the records. Like the so today where I used to train is uh, about the uh, three hundred and thirty something about sea level. Altitude. Altitude. Altitude yeah. So when I'm from there, when I'm coming down, there is a lot of things that is supposed to be done, but mm. no budget. Mm. Yeah, it's just the support. Yeah. yeah. So you see, for that that particular reason, you will be struggling uh, from the A up to Z until the race day. That means you run the race before the race appear. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to do if everything is well? Uh, settled and prepare. You have to know exactly how many bottles that you are going to have for the recovery for the whole uh, this uh, six months or eight Thank months. You. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. You have to know how many protein that you are going to have, mm -hmm. how many calcium that you are going to have, mm -hmm. how many water that you are going to have, mm -hmm. and the, how many calories that you have you, you burn and the one you, you are going to replace. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. So you those have things, all of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to, exactly. you have to exactly. take them step yeah. by step. Mm. Because sometimes, we in a, as a professional, we used to make a mistake that you will be saying, uh, I will be going for three hours. In these three hours, I want to run something like a, a, a 30, 36 kilometers. Yeah, 30, yeah. 36 kilometers. <laughs> so on that 36 kilometers, when you feel the body is right, you break that time and don't say I'm fit because I'm breaking, I, I'm breaking my time. Ah. Knowing, unknowing that, you do the things that you are supposed to do when the race is oh, yeah. closer. Ah. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. Most of us, like now, you can, you can take each and every athlete here, five of them, say go and do some 400 meters in the track. You'll see them fighting, all of them. Mm. Yes. Yeah. When we are there as a coach saying, no, we are running uh, 65 each and every lap, mm. they will run when we are there. But when mm. we are not there, they will run only 60, 58, 55. Mm. Yeah. But those things, they are not going to use it on the race. Yeah. They are then in the muscles that they are, not, they, are, they are not going to work on the race day. Yeah, it's not necessary. So that, that one is necessary for yeah. us. Overtraining. Mm. So that is why we will be saying, sometimes the, the nutrition is not good or the program. Like most of the people say, send so us the program and say, no, I can't send you the, progr the program, training mm. program. Because I have to watch you when training. Yeah. Mm. So if you are far, I'm not the guy that can coach you with the Google. Mm. Mm -hmm. You have to come down here so that we can do <laughs> everything things together. I will oh. teach you how to land the legs down. If you know when you are tired, how are you going to land down and how are you going to pull it up? Mm. Because that is where the basic of the running it is. Oh. Because most of us, we are running fast, but with the lead pull. Mm. But if you are running fast with the not late pool, ah, that means you are you are good and then you can run. I can send you the program even though you are overseas. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Running economy is important. It's very, very important. But again, it's, it's, yeah. it goes back to what I, was, what I was saying. Because even if you can send me a training program, yes, we used to get training program from other coaches, but they don't know when did I sleep. What I was eating. Yes, yes. How my life. Because mm -hmm. you can't be coaching me and don't even know whether I've got kids or I'm yeah. married. Mm -hmm. yeah. or like all that into account. Yeah. This, you need to know that, okay, today, if, it, if I'm saying to him, I must go and do 80 Ks on a day, does he have a recovery? Yeah. Mm. Does he have all the supplements that if he if needs if a, a day, a day before, you sleep well? Even the day before right. he's going to do that 80 yeah. kilometers. Mm. You have to know how he's going before to do Yeah, he can do yeah. that 80. He, 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 he has to, to build up these things and this yeah. and this and this yeah. so that he can be having the enough storage of the, the fuel mm. for tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Not not only on the day that we are doing mm. it. Yeah. 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 If in the a day before yeah. it's counting so a lot. Yeah. 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 Mm. Like mm. You didn't sleep, your baby kept you out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 The next thing you wake up, you sleep at two, by five o'clock, training starts. That's that's why most of us don't even have a recovery. Most of my belief is is to put the training camp in the in the front of me. I know exactly if I'm in training camp. My CV, I can't be in the race, not in top 10. Yeah. If I'm mm. from the training camp. Yes. Even though I, I'm struggling in the camp, but if I'm there, I know exactly that I'm coming with the prize. Because you've done yeah. the work. Because my, my mind is relaxing for, the, for, the, for yeah, the sleeping, yeah. for the waking up, mm. for looking at my child when they're going for the school, mm. they don't have the scarf mm. Those mm. things, they're out of mind. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm not. I'm not and thinking it, of this. Especially the camp. The camp, I think, for me, it's more important because of what you're nutritional wise. It helps. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly nutritional wise because at home, like I'm saying, you guys are eating pap. Mm. Yeah. Your wife is there. cooking there. Today is happy. He's cooking whatever, and you're coming from oh. two hours, three hours tra of training. You're, you're like, ah, I have you're to eat. eat. Yeah. And she and puts. She put so much effort yeah. to cook <laughs> for you. You're gonna eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and you, don't, you, you don't eat. You don't ask you what did you eat. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't, yeah. she doesn't understand. Yeah. But I once, uh, Craig Fry once brought um, top Kenyan runners to to my house um, because they were put up in a motel by one of the clubs and they didn't have any access to food. So he asked if he could bring them to me and we could make them dinner. So I said, it's fine, yeah. but I need to know what they're going to eat. Yeah. Anyway, they came and they actually... I just gave them access to the stove and the oven. I actually watched what they cooked because for me that was a learning <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was a learning yeah. curve. I wanted yeah. to see these are top Kenyan runners. I want to see what you're cooking, mm. what you're eating. Yeah. And so six of them sat in my house. Uh, this was the night before the so before Soweto. And some of them placed really high up. I think one yeah. of the guys actually uh, was one of the, I think it was the half marathon one at that stage. And there was a podium as well in the marathon. But... It was very interesting. So I went on a I went on a warm up run with them, um, which which was very slow, thank God, because I, there's no ways I could keep up with a <laughs> yeah. run. It was just a, it was actually all it was was a five k uh, lap. lap. Mm. They could just uh, do a little jog, loosen the muscles out, and then stretch. But when they cooked, they uh, made Kenyan pup, mm. and, uh, okay. and and they only had chicken <laughs> breasts. That was, okay. it. that was it. No fat, yeah. nothing. And then the one guy refused to eat chicken. He only had, he had egg whites instead of chicken, wow. okay. and 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 these were Kenyan runners that I was looking at, very high level, and and they were very picky about exactly what they were eating, yeah. very focused on what they were eating, and and you know you you look at guys like that and you see they might not have all the means and the access that they've got mm. to yeah. fancy sports nutrition mm. supplements, mm. but their natural diet, the, the the natural foods that they eat from a cultural perspective. Yeah. They knew exactly how to clean it up perfectly yeah. for exactly what they yeah. needed to be able to perform. And that and that for me was very interesting. Like mm -hmm. we spoke about Michal. It's uh, mm -hmm. you know, you, you speak to I stand at Expo all the time and I'm what are you how are you gonna feel for the race? And they yeah. And they and they bring it up all the time. I'm good with it. <laughs> I'm actually okay with it because yeah. Yeah. It is a form of carbohydrates. Yeah. Yes. It's definitely going to make an impact on the energy system. Yeah. But it's something that your stomach and your body has adapted to and utilizing, used to it. and you're yes. used to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm always, I'm always of a belief that you need to be used to the food that you're consuming because yeah. if you are going to train, and Tabucho brought this up, if you're going to train for a big race and it's your A race, even if it's your B race and you want to perform for your A race, you've got to be training your gut. Mm. You've got to be training your stomach to be receptive to the kind of food that you're going to be giving it to be yes. able to perform on race day. And if you haven't trained your gut, you've got no idea how you're going to perform during the race. You've got to stick to with what you know. Yeah. Sure. And a lot of people come up to me in expo and say, I'm doing my comrades or second comrades or first comrades. I'm a novice. Teach me what to take on race day. And I'm like, friend, it's too late for you. Yeah. 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 You're, no. you're yeah. going to suffer on race day. Why? Because yeah. you're, you, might be, you might have trained, but if you haven't trained your gut yes. and you don't understand how your energy system is going to respond to the kind of training or the kind of effort that, you've been, you know, that you're going to put in on the day, 
there's absolutely no ways you're going to be able to perform yeah. at your at your best. Right. And so that's why when people say to me, like we spoke, training doesn't start in January. No. Mm. It starts it starts in yeah. June for the following June. Yeah. Uh, I'm also of the belief that when you start training your gut, it's the same thing. You you want to spend mm. eight ten months trying to figure out what mm. the best yes, fuel. Yeah. You can yes. utilize not just yep. in and around training, but also like from the time you wake up until you go to sleep at night. What is the best food that you can eat during the day to be able to support your energy mm-hmm. system, yeah. to allow you to recover better, and to you know to to be able to perform at your best? And 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 daily nutrition and the sports nutrition have to be taken into account, and it needs to be practiced. It has to be practiced and tried and tested. And yeah. you know, one day if you're going to take in 80 grams of carbs per hour and you've never done that before, I mean, well, yeah. you yeah. don't know how your stomach's going to respond on the day. Yes. So to your point, um, I, 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 I prepare my own food. Even when I'm, when I'm doing my international races, I cook my own bat, I cook my own steak, and I freeze it. I travel with a mini cooler. Cello tape it and and that's what I do in all my races. I cook my own pre meal. So the three days that I'm, I'm uh, three days before the race, I cook my own. Don't go to restaurants. I don't do papa or pasta parties. And ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all of that. That's a dangerous. We stop taking our attitude to these pasta parties. Uh, it's not working. Uh, yeah. meal, uh, three days for me is very important. Those seventy two hours before my race, and I know exactly what how to prepare my pasta. And how to prepare my pap and my steak, and I don't take veggies at that stage. I just eat my dry pap and my and my steak, I salt it and pepper. That's it. And 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 and, and I, I I consume what I prepared in my own. And I, I have a mini cooler, and I've got little ice that I put in my cooler, and I wrap it <laughs> and I travel with it. It's, Even it's in important. Germany, I went with my I, I yep. raced. I've raced overseas many times, and I've st- you stay in a hotel, yep. yeah. and and yeah. and I I always take food with me, yeah. and safe things that you can eat in hotels are like yeah. boiled eggs, yeah. Yes. 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 and yes. maybe like yeah. rice or yeah. you know yeah. things like that. But you've got to be very careful of yes. sauces and mm. noise. Yes, mm. yeah. you know, think you you can consume something. A, a day or two before, who landed yeah. up with a stomach bug at Comrades? Was it twenty? The up run, that was the yeah. up run. Remember, there was a yeah. some of the guys I ordered, yeah. I think, chicken or something in the yeah. hotel. Yeah. yeah, um, it was the n- night yeah, before the, the race. I remember something like yeah. that. Yeah, the chicken some, was a bit off. Some yeah. of them were sick yeah. um, on Comrades Day. They were mm. sick, mm. and I was yeah. thinking, why would you order room service mm. before the race? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But again, you can. Like, yes, if, if we like the, the hotel, sometimes they do have that chicken and everything. You think yeah, it, yeah, exactly. it's proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But chat, chat to the chef and tell them that we're running comrades. Yeah, Prepare they know because remember once they got well. comrades. Yeah, week. you know. Yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> no, but they know this hotel. They know. So yeah. they know I think they order okay. too much. Too much, and mm. yeah. that's where mm-hmm. it's, uh, where they're having the problem. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we prefer our guys. They normally we normally ask the hotel. Okay. One of our guys to go in with the chef, then cook the pot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what we, we do because we know that's a problem. Yeah, Tour de France teams yeah. take their own personal chefs, and yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 that's the only, yeah. yeah. only way to own it. That's the only way to do it. Just yeah. ask for your own guys. A lot of the top world class athletes, even they will sometimes they cook for the guys. Yeah, you wanted to say something earlier with the <laughs> yeah, no, I was saying, uh, like you were saying about the the the, the food. It's more important uh, to each and every one of the athletes uh, because, like uh, the 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 nutrition that you give us to you give us to drink, now we have to know uh, to balance that nutrition. Which kind of food that you are supposed to eat? Mm. Because I think, my, from my side, uh, there is where I make a mistake there because. I can eat pap now with the chicken or whatever, with the anything that I can eat, carrots, whatever there. Mm. But unknowing that those things that I'm eating, they are still there in the protein. Uh, mm. yeah. okay. So okay. that that one, we are, that means I'm eating the the same, same thing. thing. Mm. Yeah. So yes. the, yeah, yeah. that means that the other things that are going to be useless in my body. Mm. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think. Uh, the, the, like I was saying, the, before, the big work to know that why is, I am yeah, taking this yeah, yeah. and when to we take are supposed it. to do with the own that the market is uh, to to teach us during the high training. intensity of the mileage training. training, 
you are using a lot of protein and the insurance, try to minimize on the food this and this and this because mm. they are already there. Yeah. Mm. I, I think that way it will help us to be more and more. Because like now, I'm 44 years, next year I'll be 45. My body will be different, it will be not the same. So those things that will be helping me according that last year I was doing this. I can't repeat the things that I'm doing last year because yeah. my age, my style level, everything was changed. Mm -hmm. So we have to came for this year, focusing on this year. Even the supplement as well. The recovery that I was using before when I'm starting to use the Fetutugia is not the same as, as this one now. <laughs> <laughs> The flavor is the same, the container is the same, but inside when you are testing it, it's not the same. Or maybe you're not mixing it. No, this one, you this one, is, uh, no, 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 this yeah, one. That different is, ways, yeah. yeah. Because it might happen that it's, it's a mixture because like I'm but, saying, some but of the But according to my body, I, I don't know, maybe it, it's the same, the change is my body. Mm. Mm. It, yeah. it can happen yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 Because according to my body, but this I, one is I, more. I think, they will, I, I think they will, it will be your body because like Max said, it's, the more you grow up, the more your body doesn't recover for sure. quicker yes. than before. Yes. But this one is, is, is more quicker for recovery, for my side. The recovery that for Fedutuja now mm. is more quicker for my side now. Mm. Mm. I improved. realize now in the, in the camp there. Yeah, when you're in the camp. Yeah. Mm. It's, more, it's more, more, more. So it's better now? Hey, now it's better. Than <laughs> than <laughs> than <laughs> than <laughs> your products are improving. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Look, uh, as you <laughs> said, recovery does take longer and yeah. Yeah. dietary changes are required. Yeah. Not necessarily just on a sports nutrition side, but daily, daily nutrition. Like, mm. uh, I sure. had a, I mean, I say it all the time that my protein intake has increased from 1.4 to 1.6 to 1.8 to 2 to 2.5 two grams of protein per kilogram of body weight at this mm. age. It's a lot of protein, I eat, but yeah. I don't have a choice. Yes. I, otherwise, I just don't recover like I used to. Mm -hmm. I even I, I eat more carbs these days and, and less fat these days. Uh, some people won't agree with that, but mm -hmm. it makes me feel better and it allows me to perform and helps me to recover better. And especially but, but, what you are training. Yeah. yeah. But, but everybody is very different yeah. in, in, yes. you know, in what they will consume and, and how they eat. And, and yeah. But, you know, but but daily nutrition is is uh, definitely the it's the foundation of everything you know yeah, from the yeah. time you wake up till the time you go to sleep. Yeah. I think they were made a um, a point where also I saw some of the guys they were doing it at, in the camp, like I was talking about eating this and all to find the same thing that you are yeah, yeah. eating yeah. the like like I saw some of the guys who they will have up in the chicken, like normally that, that, that the normal that they have in the camp. Mm. They left pop in chicken. Two minutes later, I've seen the guy with this, the recovery bottles mm. and he's taking recovery. So in that case, uh, I, 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 even myself, as the manager, club manager, mm. it's hard for me to say, hey, we just sit up now, we can't take a recovery or yeah. take endurance as a juice or whatever. So mm. I think things like that need Education to mark. Again. Yeah. Yeah, so so that's read. what, look, we mm. spend a lot of our time trying to educate. I mean, mm. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. education is key, giving it's people true. the knowledge to make better decisions yeah. when it comes. Remember, sports nutrition is purely supplementation. It's not replacement of mm. yeah. natural yeah. food. Yeah. Yeah. Natural yeah. food yeah. is always foundation. Yeah. It's yeah. just a convenient, it's just convenience. And, sure. and, 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 and then obviously supplementation too, in a really healthy Diet that diet. somebody's yeah. already eating on a daily basis, guys. We're gonna we we're running out of time, so I'm gonna. I think it's it'd be good to close off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, comrades, 2024. We don't know if it's a another down run or an up run <laughs> from what I hear, but I don't yeah. know. But I'm assuming you guys are all gonna be back with a vengeance mm. next yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we're not giving up. We're gonna. One is gonna go for another <laughs> wally. After hearing that, yeah. we must start preparing today. <laughs> yeah, we, we're going to start joining this <laughs> afternoon. So let's get home and start training. Exactly. Yeah. No, I think it, yeah, we, it was we'll not talking about training we'll as such. No, no, it's, yes. about, it's about planning. the planning, sit down, yes, exactly. and analyze, analyzing yes. what yes. happened this year. Yes. But that's what we're doing at the moment. Yeah. The guys are not training. We're phoning each other, yeah. discussing what went wrong, mm. where can we improve, yes. when do you have to start the training program, planning. Mm. why planning. we didn't get this, yeah. and especially like the nutrition-wise, did we get 
stuff on time or it was late this year or what what the story yeah. change all of this having yes. the proper planning for next year yeah for sure when, when do you guys actually start training for comrades like now you've just raced yeah. how long do you take off before you start getting back into to to proper training i normally i will by july i will start but i'll cycle a bit and i'll run but not like the mileage that i've run before comrades yeah. just get into it again and I think then it's important to get a goal towards the end of the year, maybe by mm. September, October, aim for Fast 21 or yeah. Marathon or something and work towards that. So you start, that you start say, building off speed as a foundation yeah. and then building mm. the endurance on top of that for, yeah. for the fight. I think it's good now to the work on the shorter distances, mm. shorter distances and maybe a bit of speed, it, yeah. you know. And also just to, you know, variation. Yeah. You know, because you're going to run a lot from January. Do a bit of other stuff, cross training, cross training cycle a bit, stuff, yeah. strength. Yeah. Some athletes, we, some yeah. runners, not athletes, some runners are very afraid of cross training. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They don't know how to cross train. Yeah. But, 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 but I, I, think, I think most of the time, and, and I mean, I've said this a couple of people, is that when I'm going to the gym, right, and do squats or lunges, I can't measure that. I can't, say my, I can't go on my watch and say, I, I've done 20, mm. but I can measure that I've done 11 Ks. Yeah. So so that's, that's why the difference is, is, is sometimes it comes in because we, we, we the guys they go to the gym they spend like thirty minutes you know you mm. can't you can't go back and say you look yes. at uh, you look back and look at, at your stats you know but mm. if you, you actually like, can Wendy I I don't know what watch you're using but you, <laughs> you can no, no, you no, can no. monitor reps and weights. <laughs> yeah, no, I, well, I, I, I just <laughs> maybe, the, maybe yeah. I just need to look at something different. But I'm saying f- for me is like I think that's one of the things with with most. At runners, mm. runners is that mm. it's easy. That's number one. It's easy to put on running shoes, go out yep, and run. five, ten kilometers. You come back, you may have done t- ten kilometers. Because right? it's yes. on Strava. Because it's on Strava. It's on your watch. Yes, yes. That's, what I'm saying. Strava, yeah. you that's why. Back, the, that's why you find you guys, the elite guys, they don't stretch. They don't do exercise. exactly. That, well, they don't see you, any. Purpose. Thank you, Matthew. Mm. Exactly. It doesn't record. Exactly. They only do something that is recording. Exactly. That's exactly. You know, yeah. and, and you feel yeah. that feel. you've achieved. I've achieved. Yeah, yeah. When you run that eleven k's yes. or ten k's, I've done some. But you say that today, guys, who are doing drills, that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. do drills. Immediately after you left, they'll just go for a run again. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lock that. Yeah. Lock that yeah. 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 Don't record it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to finish off, no. just one more yeah. question. Yeah. Peak, peak mileage week. What, what were you running, Wendy? I know you did yours with a 60k long run. What was your peak mileage week? Uh, about 160 at most. 160. Yeah, and you're in there? I had a 180 peak. 180 yeah. peak. 110. 110? Yeah. Sure. At the Bojo? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm running for Compra, it's uh, 300 to 350. In a week? In a week. Yeah. Yeah. That's unbelievable training. Yeah. Mm. Unbelievable. Yeah. I saw it. I can't even think I was of in the camp, I know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I sent you two weeks before. He ran in 90k's. And that was. The last 300k. Yeah. My, yeah. my biggest so how do you, was, here, is it a secret? How do you achieve 300k's? What do you do every twice day? Do, do, do a long twice run, a day. Twice a day. Yeah, twice, twice a day. No, so once, once. once. I'm once. not doing twice. twice. When once I'm doing twice is, is where I'm, I'm working out of the pace work and the speed and the speed insurance as well. Okay. But if, yeah. if it's a long run, it's once. Once. And what's your longest Jesus. run? If we can ask that 90. as well. 90. That's the so you had a 90 training run. Yeah. And yeah. how many weeks out? Six weeks out six, or five weeks? weeks no, weeks. you're in the combination phase. phase. Yeah, yeah, but, but you how remember many weeks what, from what they believe is that, that what, what they believe is that you need to do an over yeah. uh, racing distance yes. training. Okay. So that you can, now you know that I'm in a okay. phase of you know, racing. Yes, I've got that, but how many weeks out from the 90 will you do that 90? If in, if in two weeks, weeks, if in one week, weeks, some of the if guys, in one week I can do it. Before. One week before the race? Yeah, I can do it. Okay. It, it, depends, it, it, it depends. About himself, it, it, it yeah. depends. The guy they're doing like yeah. three weeks prior to the prior, race. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It so will depend according to my body, already. my training level, how it's coming from the back. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. So that is where I know exactly that I'm going for the prices or not. Okay. That is a test that is going to tell me. <laughs> and your training, Nate, you've got four goals now. Your three down run goals. Was your training more or less the same or much different all the time? Much different. Okay. Okay. Because the, for the first the gold, my longest long run it was 60 kilometers. Okay. The second goal was uh, 75. Okay. This way I was with Craig. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, this one it was 90. Yeah. Sure. Interesting to hear uh, that. that. But when I reduced the, when I increased the mileage, I drop out the speed. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Of course. Yes. And yes. You can't do both, then you'll get injured. Some of the guy they do 100k. Mm. Long run. 
Maybe, I know one of the guys. Maybe, oh, maybe the win. Maybe when when, when I'm forty to forty five. Oh, sure. Sure. But I expect him to do like a uh, hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty. But you know, Renier, yeah. when we did that long mm. run, but year, later, not now. Yes. Mm. Okay. Sure. When we did the the South long run, the sixty k, there were two guys running seventy k's. They mm. ran three forty eight pace for that seventy. Understood. And they were six weeks out from comrades. Yeah. yeah. Six weeks out. I, yeah. I don't know where they placed the comrades. Yes. Uh, I, but but I mean they 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 ran an incredible pace for that, that for that. On route. that note, your long run, what pace? Uh, my long run was too slow myself. But that's yeah. Mm. Probably uh, way better but, because you recover. Yes. Yeah. But, 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 but that long run can't pace, be like too fast. Like if it is fast, if it is fast, there is four minutes. If it's fast. Mm. Mm. Four minutes, See? the fastest. Mm. It's like Kipchoge also yeah. says. Kipchoge says 70% of the training is slowly, 30% is fast, but mm -hmm. then it's proper fast. I think yes. most of the, yeah. some of the injuries, training, that's why they, yeah. they made a mistake, mm. because they mm. bend themselves out before the race. Like when I'm if going those long runs are too fast, yeah. that's when you break you down know, too you much. Know, like, I, like now after the comrades, I was supposed to run sway to the, or, a, or a high altitude, okay. one of the two, okay. December or November. I will see how my body feels. Yeah. But very unfortunately, those races, they are I see suspended. Cancelled. Cancelled, yeah. Two yeah. of them, they are cancelled. Yeah. So I don't know which race I'm going to run now. Maybe I'll make my time trial. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Your old time trial. So I have to. It's must. Mm. Before, before uh, 25 December to run the, the marathon. Fast. Fast. Yes. Fast as yeah. I can. Yes. If, if I could run uh, 220, I have to go for 220 split. Yes. Mm. yes. If I go to 18, I go for 218 split. That is, that is the, the scale that I, is going to tell me mm. how I'm going to work for the next comments. Yeah. Okay. The speed, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I have, now I, my focus is only on the speed to, to, to increase my speed level. No yes. long runs. Long runs I can go, yeah. but not that much. Yes. Yeah. Too okay. much speed work, pacing speed, pacing speed, but the short speed, not the longer. Yes. Mm. Okay, that's good to know. So, yeah. interval, doing those things all. Then I'm going to the race with that, without mileage. Yeah. Yes. Because mileage, I'm going to do it for comrades. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting in the prize or not, I don't care. But yes. I'm running as fast as I can. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for, for joining. Thanks, Mark. I think we can sit here and talk all day. Yes, yeah. I learned no. a lot. I'm yeah. sure Jesse did as well. <laughs> no. Okay. No, the so social workers are already back. I'm seeing a lot of 21s already. And yeah. I'm like, why? Guys? Yeah, why? Yeah. Just rest. Yeah. 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 I don't know how to stop training. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Mark. Thanks for having us. Thank Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, buddy. Short, man.